hey guys welcome again to my channel and just in case you're new this is miss Wiro. and guys i'm back with another video and today we are doing video organization or kitchen restock somehow also i'm going to meal prep a bit and as you know i have a new fridge and it's a bit big so i still need to figure out what goes where yeah so i hope you just enjoy the journey with me so keep watching right now i have my food ready and i'm just clearing my countertop so that i can get enough space to work on I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? here are my containers that i'm going to use today to organize my fridge and some also are inside this drawer right here just in case the ones i'm having right there will not be enough and i'll just get started Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving I'll begin by boiling my HM milk first so that it can cool down by the time I'll be washing the fridge and doing all the cleaning Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? This is how my fridge looks currently not so much arranged this is all i have in the fridge and so i just want to remove everything clean the fridge and the freezer and then later begin arranging not that dirty but still i just like using dishwashing liquid to clean my fridge and that's what i'll use today sometimes i use vinegar and water but today i'll use dishwashing liquid that's what i normally use and then after that i rinse the towel and then come back and just wipe all the fridge dry The freezer is not that dirty but I'll just wipe it a bit down because there are items that I put here and then after that I'll be done. I'm done cleaning the fridge and my milk is also ready so I'll just take it out a bit so that it can cool faster and then after that I'll pack all that and store in the fridge. 
before i begin with the fridge i'm going to clean this rack down because there are those items that i don't store in the fridge so i want to store them here first before i move to the fridge side because i need to free up space so that i can work on the rest easily i got this rack from glappy suppliers and i've been getting a lot of requests and uh, questions on where i got this yeah so i got it from glappy suppliers i'll leave you their contacts down below These are the cleaners that I'm going to use today to wash my vegetables and fruits and one of them is bio veggie wash this one I got from Kafo and then another one is this vinegar right here and all these I'm going to use to wash my vegetables. I'm done with the rack and now we're moving to the feeds and I'll begin with this upper shelf and then after that I'll move to the door. A 
I'm using this salad spinner to dry my berries and I got this from Pamba Home Essentials I leave their contacts too and just in case you've seen anything that you do not know where to find you can ask on the comment section or maybe I'll pin a comment or yeah you can just even ask me on IG yeah you can DM me and I'll be glad to help if you go to This right here is fermented milk just in case you're asking yeah i'm going to store that also and then i'm going to make lemon water because i like taking lemon water for detoxification then after that i'm now going to wash as i store the remaining vegetables now that's the longest part yeah so just keep watching I like removing covers from my garlic so that they're ready whenever I want to use them because this takes a lot of time while cooking.
about to leave already packing come with me i'm I normally use paper towel while storing my produce in the fridge and that will always absorb the excess uh, moisture that you'll always find in your containers yeah that's why i use them the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for oh, take my hand I really love these fridge containers because they're very multifunctional and these ones I got from Pamba Home Essentials and I showed you this last time when I would, was doing my fridge unboxing. Yeah, so you can get it from them. I will also leave you the contacts. They are so good. You can store some items here and the rest you store in the other one. You can remove the partition. Like you can just use them in any way you want. I'll use this inner part to put my ripe avocados. These ones are already ripe. Yeah, that's why I'm putting them in the fridge. And this way they can stay for up to one week, one week and a half. If you leave them outside, they can only stay for as long as one day because they are fully, fully ripe.
time with stuff that doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstandings and words unspoken We fall apart and I won't dare to say I was done with free organization guys and I had to rest and come back later and now I'm going to do the rest at night I'm going to begin my meal prepping right away because I'm done with the fridge and I'll do a tour later after I'm done with the meal prepping. Yeah, so right now I want to meal prep and then after that I'll store this in the freezer and then here you guys. I'll begin by making my pilau and I'll do this so fast because I really need to rest again. All that I did today I think is just too much. So I'm going to set my maid to boil on the induction cooker and right here it's very ready and tender and now I'll just go ahead and fry my pilau My pillow is ready and I'll pack that in my plastic uh, containers. I'm only using these ones to store my food in the freezer but not for warming. Also I packed my pillow after it was already cooled down completely. I'll put three containers in the fridge and three containers in the freezer. That way they can stay as long as I want. Next, I'm making some sauce that I'll be eating with my pilau. I'm using quite a lot of oil now and that is to preserve the sauce. And then after that, I'll use some onion. You can use either white or red. And then in my blender, I have some tomatoes, garlic, ginger, chilies, and also some capsicum, the green one. I'll blend that and then add it to my pot. I 
I'll let that cook for about 10 minutes and then after that I'll add some salt and also some lemon. I squeezed four of them. The more the better. And then I'll let that cook again for about 5 minutes and that will be ready. It will achieve this color automatically. You don't need to add anything. Yeah, the color will just turn to yellowish or reddish the way you can see it right here. I'll pack this and then set some in the fridge and some in the freezer and these ones I'll be using to eat my Vyazikarai Pilau or Biryani. Lastly, I'm going to make some breakfast that I'll be substituting with uh, like bread and uh, cornflakes and all that. Yeah, so I'm going to make some matoke and how do you call these Irish potatoes. I'll just peel that and then I'll fry it and then I set that also in the freezer and the fridge. And those will be helping me throughout the month, not the month but the coming two weeks. Yeah, I'll be substituting them with other foods like i've just said yeah so this will be helping me to at least have something to eat when i'm totally busy this time i'm not cooking much but maybe in one of these coming days i'll do a proper meal prep to maybe cover me for the whole month We're done cooking guys, let me set this in the fridge and the freezer, just the same way I did with the other ones, 3-3 three, three. and then after that we go and do a fridge tour. So this is how the whole fridge looks generally and I really love the outcome, I really love how everything turned out, yeah so let me give you a quick tour. let's begin with this upper shelf this is where my drinks are I have some yogurt and all the, those water uh, milk and then I have these fruits right here and also that some leftover tomato and then coming down here I have my eggs and then these are the fruits the 
the foods that I'll take within the week. The rest I've put in the freezer. And then here I have my maize. And then here I have some fruits. And then here more fruits. And then I have more fruits and vegetables down. Going all the way down. Yeah, all these are just... Uh, yeah, all these are just uh, fruits and vegetables. I have more vegetables that I added here. And also, I have my coconut here. If you don't know, coconuts also go bad. So be careful with the coconuts that you buy. The best thing to do is to just store them in the fridge before you use them. Because I still don't know when I'm going to use them. Yeah. And then next here at the door, I have my sauces right here. And the fridge is warning me that my time is up. I need to just close it down. Yeah, I have my sauces there. I've used some. And then these ones here, I have my mala. Yeah, my fermented milk and my uh, lemon water. And then coming down, I have my, my juice right there. Then I have my cheese right there. I think I'll take it to the freezer or I'll just uh, leave it there. So this is how the fridge looks. Yeah, all the way down. And now let's move to the freezer. Inside is too cold. I have my uh, ice cream up there. And then I have my frozen, uh, frozen capsicums, the colored ones, plus the green one also. And then here I have my... My foods, these ones are all meal prepped food. And here, this is where I'll be putting my meat. Yeah, and I'm still waiting for them to be delivered. I need to put some fish in there, some beef, and also what else? Yeah, you know them, the meat, meat, meat. They're yet to be delivered. And I think that one I'll do in another video. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Thank you so much. And that's all about today's video. Bye-bye. See you in my next one.